my name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. Woo! Hell yeah. Let's go. Whoa, Mystic is next in the slot. I thought it was actually Construct next, but it's actually Mystic. Hell yeah. What? I thought I had all of the unlocks for Mystic. Okay. Guess I don't. Time to get it. I'll try, I don't mind if I do. Uh, choose a card to obtain this early on. Pick up Pure Instinct for 105 gold or a Calicum Strawberry Ancient Tea set. Okay, so just a bunch of commons. Flawless the boss in particular. Seems for a rare relic. Okay, sure. Who's our boss this floor? I'm pretty certain that's a Sneko and a Mystic. I don't remember from what mob though. So if that is a Sneko and a Mystic, then I can complete the Sneko kill as well. If I can Flawless it. How do I Flawless it? Heavy cards? Does that doom me later on though? Like, do I pass the first boss with the Flawless and then get doomed because I have cards that are way too, you know, weighty? It seems like cantrips are only going to be good when they generate. At the start of combat, add a random cantrip to your hand. Like, that's going to be good for me. Uh, except for in the Sneko fight, right? In the Sneko fight, the cantrip, unless it exhausts, is going to be bad, right? Redraw a zero cost at anything other than zero cost, typically not a good cost. So maybe it's actually obtain a random boss relic. No, I'm going to go for the card to obtain. Heavy strike. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay, this has been reworked. Uh, it is an art. It is deal six damage. Arcane, so it has a special effect if you've already played a spell this turn. Important thing to note about the Mystic mod. Uh, there are cards that are, you know, attacks. There are cards that are powers. There are cards that are skills. But attacks can also be arts. And skills can also be spells. And skills can also be arts. And attacks can also be arts. What? No, attacks can be arts or, uh, arts or spells. Or neither. And skills can be arts or spells or neither. There we go. I'm gonna take heavy strike. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get that to be a thang. Let's go. Okay, so I'm parving. Hug the left for a bunch of upgrades and a, a couple of elites, actually. I can actually even go shop, or rather question mark, question mark, shop. Normal enemy, teleport over here, and then get this rest, enemy, rest, elite, enemy, elite, enemy, enemy. Like, that seems like a really good line to me. Read magic. Cantrip. And this is a spell as well, uh, so long as I played three or fewer spells this turn. So it's the setup for the strike for us. Uh, cantrip. Draw two cards, then discard one. Exhaust. Easy. That's activated arcane dodge. So heavy strike. I'm willing to take two damage to get that heavy strike out. I got to play it every single fight. So it's what? Effectively, like a more expensive version of genetic algorithm, but it... Hang on, it's triple strike here. Uh, it's a more expensive version of genetic algorithm for attack rather than defense. It's cool. There's also you know, other cards in the game that you know, become more powerful when you kill someone with this. Ritual Dagger in particular. Uh, and there's also the all for one from uh, Replay the Spire, if I recall correctly, that just every time this is exhausted, gain two damage permanently. So these kind of you know, growth cards are super interesting. Have a lot of precedence as well. If you've played two spells this turn, deal 24 damage instead on the Vorpal Thrust. How do I how often do I play two spells in a turn, right? Consider that I've got a cantrip at the very start, and then I've got one spell in the shocking grasp. So I'm gonna start needing spells in order to set my other stuff up. For that same reason, I think I maybe want to take shield here. It is literally just uh this is uh not backflip, what's it called? Dodge and roll. But it is also a spell, so it can be used to set up arts. I'm going to take the dodge and roll. Uh, transform and upgrade a random card. I just really hope I don't lose heavy strike. Oh, Tome of Spells. Damn. D6 
Didn't lose Heavy Strike. Um, Arcane Shocking. Heavy Strike Shield. Three defend, three strikes. What the hell did I lose? What? Because isn't your start deck as the Mystic four strikes, four defends, Arcane Dodge, Shocking Grasp? Then I picked up Heavy Strike. I picked up Shield. What was transformed into the... All right, never mind. Hang on. Actually, can I even see in this over on the side? No. I'll take the gold, though. That's actually one of the reasons I wanted to go to the two question marks before the shop, right? Just so that I could try and get a little bit more money. Seeing Hand of Greed this early makes me pretty sad that I can't pick it up. Probe is interesting in that, like, it's a slice, but it upgrades, and the upgrade actually changes it from an attack to an art, so you can use it as your setup for spells. Super cool. Uh, I probably just take Bargain Marbles. Just could be handy. Sadly, I don't think I have a... Oh, well, no. If I get Tome of... Tome of Spells, I'll probably have a spell. Next hand. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use the Adrenaline Potion. Maybe hit the Prestidigitation. Excellent. I just wanted to get my Heavy Strike out as quickly as possible. Here, Ray of Thrust plus Strike. Come on. Damn it. Need another Strike to close out the game now. Oh, well. Got it now. Swing. Attack Potion as well as Hunker Down, Probe, Corrosive Touch. Probably too much. Corrosive becomes a spell on upgrade. No, I'm kind of balanced in terms of my spells and arts right now. I don't think I want to take any of those. Especially because we've got the Sneko at the end of the floor, right? So, I do have to consider that. Let's get the upgrade on the Heavy Strike. I don't know if Heavy Strike is going to make, you know, like a whole deck archetype or anything like that. But I'm totally fine to try it. Draw a card and gain an energy if it's a spell or an art. It is neither, sadly. Closing Barrage. Deal damage equal to three times the total number of spells and arts played this turn uh, X times. Three by three. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. That That's like a payoff in a way different deck. Bladed Dash totally seems useful. Arcane, but I played... I have played a spell this turn, so the Arcane effect should already be triggered. It's just super important I stop these dazed from being added to our deck as quickly as possible. Oh, that sucks. Heavy Strike is not currently set up for anything. And if I... Oh, no. So I... Oh, lame. Heavy Strike. Yeah, and Tome of Spells is, of course, left in the deck. I am so dedicated to getting this Heavy Strike upgraded. Almost singularly, zealously attached to it. Come on, Heavy Strike. Eventually, I'm going to get you with one of my goddamn spells. Gosh, I have so many spells left in the deck. I'm really sad. sure that I get Prestidigitation and Heavy Strike in the same hand, please. Or Shield. I'll take either. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now it has to be Prestidigitation. Actually, you know what? It could have been the Shocking Grasp. That is also a spell. That's my bad. 
Hey, there we go. Heavy struck him. And before the deck is through, we'll get our kill. Easy. Light bulb. If you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your next turn. As well as... Interesting. Divining blow is deal eight damage, draw two cards. The upgraded version of it is effectively a a pommel strike so long as you meet the arcane requirement, but then it also provides a technical requirement for a different card as you played an arc. Gain six and then exhaust a random card in your hand and upgrades to still exhaust a random card in my hand, but arcane allows me to choose what to exhaust. No. I'm thinking about the Sneko fight at the end of the floor and I'm, I'm just thinking none of those are really on my side for that, really. The shield and the shocking grass, we're definitely keeping in the deck. Nunchaku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. That's really, really good, especially considering how many of the cantrips are also attacks. Mm hmm. Slash, Ray of Frost. First digitation. Defend, attack, and you know what? I'll keep an energy as well. Light bulb gives me an extra draw now. That's it's really good that light bulb gave us that extra draw, otherwise I was gonna be in a really, really rough position here. Of not being able to play my heavy. So much HP lost. Rough fight overall. All these smooth stones started to come up with one dex as well as a block potion for 12 block current uh, whenever I like desperately need it. Seems pretty good. Uh, second shield, especially with that all these smooth stones, seems like a really nice pickup. Acid Splash the back line, Heavy Strike the front line. All right. The Heavy Strike is starting to get to the point where I can be you know, reasonably comfortable with it. Diversion is a very low cost spell. Your discard pile to your hand, that's not gonna work. Upgrade and still discard pile, fair enough. Um, we literally only have the two arts in the deck. I don't know if I want to take Diversion yet. Probably not another shield already as well. Strike. Um, I'm actually just going to straight up kill the frontliner here. Use the block potion to keep myself alive while I do so. The two fewer days that we just added to our deck could actually be extraordinarily handy in keeping me alive. Um, that's my reasoning. Mm -hmm. Magic again. Last shield. Man. Shocking Grasp isn't even doing its all. Shield in particular was important there because it means I don't die next turn even if I don't defend. Excellent. We'll draw an extra energy next turn. Between the, the light bulb and the nunchaku, we are so, so comfy to have extra attacks in our deck where otherwise we might not be. Okay. He 
easy three, and now I'm dead, aren't I? No, I'm fine. Well, I'm not fine, but I'm, I'm not dead. One HP, all right. So the final HP point, as I've always said, is the only one that matters, so we're all good. And we're already defended for next turn as well. Hell yeah. Awesome. Back of preparation at the start of combat, draw two additional cards, as well as momentum. Spells and arts deal one more damage and gain one more block for each uh, uh, each card of the other type played this turn. No. Time of spells, no. Grease, no. Okay. I just need to really rest. Like, really, 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 really need to rest. So this blocks for 11, so I actually do need to use two blocking cards this turn, which means that I can't heavy strike this turn. Unless I'm killing. So that's 42, it's 9 HP left. That's literally lethal. Wow. <laughs> energy potion gain two energy, as well as style change. Add a random art to your hand because zero this turn. Exhaust. Upgrades to be zero cost, okay. Uh, lightning bolt is a spell for six damage to all enemies, technical 10 damage to all enemies. That would be a nice little bit of AOE for us. And compound its pa uh, components pouch rather deals seven for each spell in hand. That one seems to make less sense to me in this deck. I could totally take Lightning Bolt. Not thrilled about how that went, but it's fine. Uh, play a spell, and then we can heavy strike with the uh, damage buff. Ooh. Alacrity. Gain an extra energy next turn. That's pretty important. Extra energy is always good for us with the light bulb. All right. Here's the rest, and let's see how the Sneko does. Start with Spark, and then Heavy Strike to just dunk the Mystic out of existence, basically, as quickly as possible here. Not bad. I'm also actually going to Energy Pot this turn, so that then I can Strike, which gives us another Energy, all Alacrity, and Shield. So I get extra Energy and extra Block next turn. Because I really want to Flawless this boss. Unfortunately, all of those Cantrips that I just put in my deck are really bad for me, and that was a really bad idea, and I'm really sad that I did it. And as it looks like, we are not going to be perfecting this fight. Oh well. At the very least, we will kill a Sneko. Well, Acid Splash was still a reasonable cost. There's 22. Yikes. I was trying to take expensive cards like this entire time. Like I specifically wanted the most expensive options that I had available and they just weren't really there. Oh God, look at all of these being rolled to three every single time. Oh, why do I feel like this run isn't long for the world? Shouldn't have played that final one. I had an extra energy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably dead right now as well. Oh. No. Okay. We actually managed to draw a zero cost defensive thing there. That was really good. And now we're dead. Pretty sure. Yeah, we're now dead. Just could not find any. Ex well, okay, I found one expensive card that I didn't pick, and that was Momentum, and Momentum didn't really synergize with my deck. Uh, space itself twists and turns before your very eyes. This is the dialogue that you get when teleporting. Why is, why is this here? 
hello again. Talk. Choose. Okay. Uh, uh, looks like I just gave up max HP. Oh, you actually start with five strikes. Okay, so it was a strike that was transformed. Um, looks like I gave up max HP for money, I think. I hope that screen is not still there when I change. <laughs> Whoo! Okay. So I had to make a blind selection there, but eh, whatever. Worst case scenario, I just sold my soul again. Shocking grasp for the insta kill. Also got a shop in literally one space, so might find something there that defines the entire run. Getting that early money is always really nice. For this reason in particular. I'll take it. Snowball's interesting. It's just 9 to 13, but it's a spell, so it sets up arts. And Repost is an art that sets up spells. I mean, and it basically, when I say it sets up spells in, or rather, when I say something sets something else up, I'm saying effectively that it doesn't have an arcane or a technical casting value of its own because you don't want to use those as your setup card because you won't get the benefit of whatever the arcane or the technical thing seems to be. I think I'd take Repost. Specifically because of the elites here on the first floor. <laughs> Bent Spoon. Cantrips deal one additional damage and gain one additional block. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. Also, Foam Finger from the Construct. Draw one extra card every turn. That's also pretty ridiculous. An extra card every turn allows you to synergize your arts and spells a lot better. I'm going to go for that. And remove a card as well. Okay, so you want Heavy Strike, Quantum Egg, Mobius Coin, the Power Slash, and More Bank. More bank. I'm probably going to get more money from the event pickup of more bank than overall so if i take more bank more than five floors then i'm getting more from more bank than i am from the quest reward okay i think that's gonna happen um A double block. There's no reason to go over aggressive there. Yeah, especially considering we should just have lethal next turn. Faint. It's an art that adds a random cantrip to your draw pile. Upgraded cantrip on this upgrade. That's interesting. Take that. I'm always the dodge here. Just 50-50 it. Hey, got it. Baseball. Upon pick up a random card in your deck, it becomes free. So we'll take these card selections first, just in case. Divining Blow, Style Change. Uh, Arcane. So Arcane is for having already played spells. Have we got many spells in the deck? Uh, that Cantrip and the Cantrip from Spellbook are spells. So it's Shock and Grasp. So I could take it. And then that's another Divining Blow there. I'm going to take both Divining Blows, <clears throat> then basketball, uh, baseball on the, the post there, sure. Randomize your starter relic. No. Sorry, not this time. The cantrips are actually really important to me. We have to get repost on this turn in particular. Just asking, just asking whether or not that had to be the case, because it seems like it had to be the case in the matter. Um, well, I can read magic and then divining blow, divining blow. I'm basically just looking to get back to repost. I'll defend for nine. Hey, there we go. Repost. Frost. 
Shocking grasp. Bank and kill. Easy. Peanut butter. Hubris at the start of each combat gain. Eight temporary HP. Like it. Love it. Uh, keen edge. Apply four vulnerable to all enemies. Upgrades to be an art. Okay, so this used to be, I think, one, then zero cost. And it was seven vulnerable to all enemies. And some people felt it was insane. But then, like, the obvious comparison is, you know, compare it to terror. Which does that and exhausts. This specifically doesn't exhaust so that eventually you don't need more vulnerability. Okay, so the same time as an attack on the grapple. Is that boss's floor again? Sneko again. Grapple is just stall for me. Do I want to stall for any good reason? Not really. I'll take the keen edge. It comes an art on its upgrade rather than a spell, unfortunately, though. So we do need more spells in the deck. Wee! I can just go all out damage because the peanut butter is here to save me. Yeah. Got him. Barry in a bottle with the ebb and flow. Each turn, draw one card, then discard two unless you have a spell and an art. Snowball is just a basic spell. I think I need that. With the amount of arcane effects I have, yeah. Knowledge pool is choose one of three random spell cards and add it to your hand and go zero this turn. Oh, okay. No, we'll take knowledge pool and then immediately upgrade that. That sounds really good. I could just regen. Yeah, none of these are actually good, so I'm just going to regen. Mm -hmm. Don't have any spells in hand. Got that divining blow as well, though. Faint. Divining Blow Strike. So now we've got the other cantrip in the deck. Which is there to buff up the next Divining Blow. Okay, I could go super aggressive this turn. Ooh, even weaken them there. Love it. I don't necessarily need to perfect this fight. I don't even have the ability to currently. So Divining Blow will faint now. Well, we could draw Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost gives us another block. Like maximum. So we'll faint. Take an extraordinarily small amount of damage here, and then we just get to attack and attack and attack and attack. Or we would, if we had any powerful cards left in our deck. You actually got close to dealing serious damage to me, Lagavulin. Nice try. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rescue me, add a card to your deck, as well as Five Foot Step. This was, of course, an art that just gets itself back to you later, right? So that you can fund so many different spells with it. Or so many different technical triggers. We don't have that many technical triggers, so I don't think it's good for us. Okay. Metronome. All right. I have seen this before. I have seen this before. Uh, increases strength for every sequential attack played. Playing a non-attack card or taking damage resets the bonus to zero. I have to imagine that uh, the the border of the spell, so like, or rather the border of the card, the shape of the border, 
uh, determines whether or not it is considered by the base game to be an attack or a spell outside of the arts and skill system, uh, arts and spell system. Attack, skill, art, spell. Cool. So now we actually just want more attacks. That being an art, is that ever important? Not really. I mean, I kind of want to now just go all the way with the metronome. Let's upgrade faint. Okay, so anything that's not an attack I'll cast first. Okay, so we've got the nine here on the first turn. Okay, so I can accept one damage if I want to. <clears throat> Repost strike something after that. Okay. I think I'm fine with this. I think I need to get a, a lot of strength stacked up in that. Oh no, because I took damage, of course. Oops. Oops. I think I need to get a lot stacked up in that metronome if I ever really want to get going off here. Hey, game energy. Wow. That's really good. Like that. It's a great result from that car. Okay. Team Edge. Guess it's just time to kill now. Couldn't kill that sentry. It wasn't vulnerable. Faints. Ah. Okay, so we get to end for the next fight with extra strength. Snack back. Every time you play three attacks in a turn, gain two HP. As well as an attack potion. Lunge would make sense if I had not gotten metronome, but I have got metronome. It's an art as well, right? I'm not going to take it. I'm going to try and go all the way with metronome and snack pack. Which means I just need more attacks in my deck. The Divining Blows drawing are actually really, really good as well. I'm going to need a lot of extra energy as well. Uh, yep. Anger him. Okay. Attack potion for... Uh, like a straight up easy no. Nice. Well, this ain't great. Well, and then Divining Blow on the front line, and then I take one damage this turn from the Funky Beast. So I lose my Metronome stacks. You know what? I'm not going to lose my Metronome stacks. Screw you. Keeping them. Okay, 11 on the Metro now. Uh, Odd Mushroom, when vulnerable, takes 25% more damage rather than 50%. And a Steroid Potion. Snowball, this is an attack that I can use as a spell to set up my other stuff. So, sure, we'll take that. Yes. It begins. Fireball. To all enemies is interesting. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have taken that. I should have taken the other one. Whoops. Uh, we'll dig for a random relic here. Got anchor, starting combo 10 block. That's going to make it much easier to go off with a metronome. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, with the 10 block. So, shock and grasp is fair. Let's switch as well. Uh, so. Unfortunately, don't really get to change anything there. That just has to happen. Hopefully. My attacks come out here. Well, Fireball is pretty good. Oh, gosh. 
gosh, I should have reposted first. Thankfully, it didn't matter. All right, well, uh, didn't get anything negative there. Cool. Uh, heavy strike. That's is that ever gonna go in this deck? Possibly. Flory. No. Beetle shell. Quantum egg. Beetle shell. If it ever comes into this deck, is never gonna provide us a bonus. So, unless I randomly pick it up, it's not gonna benefit me. Um, I'm also gonna remove the endless mission just so that I don't have to go endless. Disintegrate. Seems like it's pretty, pretty reasonable. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll remove two of the probably defensive cards, I have to imagine. So that we can make better use of this metronome. I wanted extra energy really badly there. It's a shame. Okay, four elites on the left-hand side. Hell yeah, let's go for it. Let's get wild. Disintegrate. Easy. I should have just played out a bunch of attacks there for the benefit of the metronome. Weak uncapitalized, though. Never mind. Don't need that. I definitely don't want to give up all of my gold here. Uh. Uh. Chunk him. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Romeo? The, uh, the red mask is also going to make it much easier. All in, become weak for two turns. No, I'm... If, if I had the ability to not be affected by weakness, it'd be really good, but I, I don't. Red Mask. So we've got the Red Mask and the Anchor. So our opening turn, we are just so defended. It's really nice. The spell. That. The Faint. Oh, dang it. Faint put a spark into my deck rather than one of the cantrips that is an attack. One, two, three. Uh, lightning pot. Oh no, Flory! Oh my god! Whoa! Uh, so Flory is just gonna like insta kill enemies, and that's gonna be kind of cool and chill as hell to watch. All right. No. I mean, Flory just goes on the back line, right? Arcane, so I haven't played a spell yet this turn. I'm unlikely to. That's fine. We've got this. Metronome. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, steroid potion as well. Uh, grapple, arcane accuracy, power, uh, power slash. That's actually one of the cards that we wanted to pick up for that, so. Sure. There we go. Get 100 gold for it. <laughs> Show me what you got, elites. Uh, all right. I'm a ray of frost there. And then, oh, that's technical. So I need to play an art. There we go. And then I'll fireball. Hmm. One turn kill an elite. I'll just take my 300 gold there. Light bulb. If you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards on your next turn. As well as just like a lot of stuff that I can't really play. That's the heavy strike. Yeah. That's never going to be good enough for me to take, unfortunately. So I'm going to remove the quest. Just because of its cost and the fact that I didn't get energy after the first floor. And the fact that I just want to play a bunch of small cards to benefit as much as I can from the uh, metronome. Got to make sure I don't play any skills accidentally. Ooh, Book of Stabbing. You're actually one of my, one of my dedicated targets, so... Andy, thank you. I'll take my random relic. Ooh, hoo, hoo. bag of marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerability to all enemies. That's ridiculous. Matroshka, the next two chests you open contain two relics as well as an upgraded heavy strike. Thanks for trying. Funnel, at the end of your turn, unused energy is converted to four block each as well as the regal pillow. Heal an additional 15 HP when you rest. So I could just end my turn 
and get 12 block as well as draw three cards next turn. That's that's like a reasonable thing. Get a blankie. What the hell? Oh, I have to imagine maybe when maybe when you get the regal pillow, you get the quest, get a blankie, and it's it's related somehow because like a pillow and a blanket. I I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching a straw sir. That's just what it seems like to me. Now I've had uh, I've had this with the ironclad. Uh, and it just devolved effectively into me using Whirlwind literally every turn. Just opening every fight with Whirlwind and then laughing. One, two, three. Garlic. garlic! At the start of each combat, apply three language to all enemies. Good lord, between Garlic, the Anchor, and Red Mask, no one can damage me until at the very most, uh, or until the very earliest, earliest rather, the second turn. Grinning Jar, obtain a skill that draws two cards, obtain an additional copy for every other 12 cards added to the deck, and Bottled Lightning, upon pickup, choose a skill card at the start of each combat, that card will be in your opening hand. Uh, we want neither of those. <laughs> so we just turn both down. <laughs> Otherwise, we mess with our metronome, damn it. We don't gotta do that to us. Duct tape, a bomb pick up, choose two cards and combine them. Okay, I really... Oh, okay. I'm super intrigued. Okay, so it does combine their cost as well. So I want to combine things. Like repost and divining blow or something like that. That's weird. Like, if I combine a spell with an art and then I play it, is it going to be a spell or is it going to be an art? And how is that going to affect things? I uh, I can never know the answer to that. Mm. That's unfortunate. I'm going to duct tape the... By the way, duct tape, obviously, a Gungeon reference. There's actually a lot of Gungeon references in Hubris mod in particular. One we have not yet to see that I was super excited about when I first saw. Uh, yeah, I think I go Repost and the Divining Blow. Now we've got this new card in our deck, which is Repost and Divining Blow. But the Repost is not upgraded, so if I upgrade it, it'll upgrade that. There we go. Cool. Smith and that's 20. Who saw a boss again? Oh, it's the champ. Yeah, let's get the flurry upgraded. That just makes sense. Arcane. So do I have any spells that I can cast? Yeah, we've got the snowball. Snowball, and then I can flurry for lethal. Cool. <laughs> yeah! Uh, Sudden Clarity, that doesn't go in this deck. Disengage doesn't go in this deck. They're both skills, that's why they don't. Lunge, nope. Again, none of those are attacks. Snacko Eye, wow, how could I refuse? Like this, no. Uh, all cards cost zero. Any card entering your discard pile is exhausted. Oh my God, let's go. Hubris mod. Uh, that's also Yin Yang from Black Mod, which is every two turns gain two energy. That would be really good for me. Uh, but we can never get through our entire deck. And the draw in our deck is... This is... Yes, this is good. <laughs> I mean, it's overwhelmingly broken right now. This is so damn powerful. But it is good fun. Good, mostly clean fun. Well, I do want to continue thickening my deck, right? Uh, I'll lose the dex potion. Hey, ancient tea set, nice. Wasn't that one of my? Oh, it must have been in the previous. Yeah, it was in the. It was in the previous. That's my bad. Don the red mask for 222 gold. We've got a ridiculous amount of gold over this mission so far. 
Uh, black, uh, sorry, Black Mod's bag of chips at the start of 10 combats heal 4 HP. I have to imagine that's every 10th combat. Do that. Deadly Aura. Oh, who is this from? Also from Black Mod. Unplayable at the end of your turn, deal 5 damage to all enemies and it upgrades to 8. Interesting. So this is kind of like a, like, like, think of this like zero cost effectively. Like it's a zero cost attack that does that. Hmm. Because you can't play it multiple times in a turn, so it's not analogous to that. And you, you can't like burst or anything. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I could totally like kill the shopkeeper. I think I'll save that for later and just buy everything from this one. And there's another flurry as well. And then a card removal. Awesome. Yeah. Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. I mean, we can never get damaged. So I think that might actually just be correct. Or we could get a rare relic. Rare relics are sometimes amazing. Um... See, the upgrades to these only make them do a little bit more damage. Like, none of them are changing their energy cost on an upgrade or anything like that. So, I think I actually just take a red relic. I think it's overkill to go for the upgrades. So, I think this is uh, every 10th combat heal 4 HP. I think that's what it's doing now. Cool. Counterbalance during boss and elite fights. Enemy strength gain, block gain, and healing is reduced by half. That's actually really good considering... We are about to go up against Dono and Decker. I don't think we're going to be in the fight for long enough for it to matter. But. Hey, Paranoia, what up? Intends to inflict me with a negative effect. Okay. So all cards entering the discard pile are exhausted. That's annoying because you're invulnerable for two turns. So I'm about to run out of cards. <laughs> Uh, I need to make sure that I don't draw this turn as a result of that, right? And generate as many cards in my deck as I can. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm drawing three cards at the end of this turn as well because of the light bulb. Um... Well, yeah, I, I can't do anything about this. And then I'm dead next turn because I'm not going to have the strength anymore and the enemy's being intangible this entire time. I can't protect myself this turn. And if I play a skill to try and protect myself this turn, I lose all my strength anyway. Wow. All it took was two turns of invulnerability on a target and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, literally nothing I can do. I am definitely now going to lose all of these exhausts all of them uh, even if i don't play them if i don't play them they just still exhaust so i think i have to play keen edge unfortunately Oh my god, no. Oh no. No, we had funnel! I was alive! I just killed myself there! We had funnel. I was I was actually alive. Not only was I alive, I probably could have won. Now we definitely can't. We now have exactly zero cards. We are now going to definitely lose the combat. We have no way to escape or anything similar. I just keep ending my turn and... <clears throat> yeah, that was actually a huge misplay on my part. If I had just used the energy potion, the funnel would have protected me and then I would have killed next turn. I'm, I'm now just dead. Okay. 
So I could just let that die. Uh, I'm going to call it like, yeah, I definitely lost. But also, I really want to see the end of the run. So I'm going to do it correctly as well. Should have played the divining first. That's my bad there. This is 13, 18. Let me draw the exact same hand. Um, I play... I actually don't even need to play the energy potion. I play the energy potion if I want to defend without using... Without using any of my temp HP, but I don't know if my temp HP would result in me losing the charge from metronome, so... Gotta be careful. There we go. <clears throat> Bottled Flurry. Uh, Pompey Cup, choose a card. You retain that card at the end of the turn. If the card would exhaust due to being ethereal, it's discarded instead. Steroid Potion and... No. Okay, so what would I want to hold? Probably like Disintegrate or Fireball, the ones that are too expensive for me to often play. Uh, by the way, this is another problem. You can see that Duct Tape now costs two. It should only cost one. Right, repost cost zero, and duct tape ha was costing one, but then as soon as I reloaded my game, it reset this. A couple effects like that have, uh, I've noted, have been affected. Like the the baseball resets, uh, the rune of simplicity resets if you save and quit, and those are the most obvious ones to me. Choose a card to retain. I think fireball probably. Take nothing now. No run is safe from my ability to throw. Whew. Smith wants more. We're definitely looking for the flurry upgrades. Smiling Mask, the Merchant's Card Removal Service now always costs 50 gold. Sure, I'll kill a Nightmare as well, because why not? Mm -hmm. Seems to have worked out for me. Uh, incense Burner, every six turn gain intangibility. Prepared Caster Innate. Choose one spell from your draw pile and add it to your hand. Okay, that's super cool. Interesting. It's effectively making any other spell innate, right? At least when upgraded, it is. So technical. So I need to play an art first. So play that, and then technical. Boom. Easy nose. I think I'm just gonna fight you. No, I'm afraid it is stealing time. You've become so powerful, merchant. How could I possibly consider? How could? How could? How could I? Got him. I'll take Kunai, Mumfight Hand, and the Abacus. Uh, Kunai being every time you play three attacks in the turn, gain a Dex, as well as Mumfight Hand whenever you play a power, <laughs> as if I would. A random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of the turn, as well as the Abacus, gain six block when you ever sh uh, whenever you shuffle your draw pile. And we also got the nice Rug. Uh, which is starting to combo with one plated arm for every 50 gold we have, which is going to be a ridiculous amount of plated armor because we have a ridiculous amount of gold. Savvy? Didn't want any of those. Nope. Essence of magic. Add two random cantrips to your hand. Hmm. Don't know if I want that either. Definitely take the money though. Okay. Upgrade a card. Dono and Decca coming up. I guess it'll upgrade the AoE. It's not gonna matter. Yeah, I got 21 plated armor right now. It's it's pretty good. Inspire growth. I did lose this run though. Like, I screwed up. I definitely already lost this run. 
Cunning disguise! I don't even get to... Sure, I'm gonna make it with the construct. I don't even get to benefit from that at all. All right, donor. Decker, see what you've got. Mm-hmm. Thinking I do that, and then that, and then that, and then that. That works out. Okay, so metronome... Uh, I still haven't found Blanky. So metronome along with the black hole is wild as hell. Whew. Just goes off for the moment. My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the game past, present, and future, as well as a link to the Steam store page to pick up the game Slay the Spire, as well as a link to the Mod the Spire launcher, as well as each of the mods featured in each and every episode of this series. Getting close to unlocking that final level on the Mystic. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.